Pro-Palestinian activists have clashed with Greek police in Athens, where they've been protesting over Washington's stance on a flotilla of ships preparing to sail for Gaza. They've been demonstrating outside the U.S. Embassy. They're angry at comments by the U.S. Secretary of State, which they said appeared to support a possible Israeli attack. We're trying to put pressure on our government and say you're supposed to be protecting us, American citizens, and not the government of Israel, and that you should be pressuring Israel to say let this flotilla leave Greece and let this flotilla arrive in Gaza. The U.S. ship is one of nine hoping to leave this weekend carrying relief supplies for Gaza. Activists say the U.S. ship has thousands of letters from Americans. They stress there are no plans to enter Israeli waters. Hillary Clinton had suggested that if they did, Israel would have the right to defend itself. We have some green ones. Israel says the blockade is to stop arms from being imported into Gaza. This week, Irish activists accused Israel of sabotaging their boat while it was docked in Turkey to stop it from joining the convoy. The challenge to the Israeli blockade comes a year after Israeli marines stormed a boat in another flotilla, killing nine activists.